Yo audio freaks and welcome on Ultimate Metal Production. This time I will show you how to sound like pro without spending any money on plugins, virtual bass drums or bass instruments and amp sims. Let's get started. Yo guys, welcome in Reaper. Now I will show you how to achieve really good sound by using only free plugins and now before and after whole mix. So that's it before. So that was the before and after and let's start with electric guitars. Um, of course I'm panning it left and right. That's a, a pen knob. Um, I'm using on two channels the same plugins. So first is a tube screamer which is a booster for my signal. Drive is re really low because I need this. I need a little bit of boost so set up like this. Then tone is a little bit below 20. I wanted to reduce the shimmer in my guitar, you know. And I'm using level almost on max. Then second plugin is a Ignite Emissary Amp. One of my favorite free amp sims. Of course, this is without impulse response. So you need to load your own. But chill guys, I will show you how to do it. So crank this amplifier like this. So I'm using lead channel, as you can see, a red channel. Gain is below 12 o'clock because I don't need that much gain. I need a clarity in my sound. So set game on minimum. And then bass, of course, I want to... Bass is like this. I wanted to reduce a, a low end on my guitar. Then I'm boosting low mids and high mids a little bit, guys. Just a little bit mm, above 12 o'clock. And reducing treble to my guitar set in mid rate. So settings are like this. And presence is to make my uh, guitar darker. But it's really su subtle, guys. Subtle changes. So everything looks like this. You can copy my settings, of course. Oversampling on 8 to achieve best audio quality. I like good audio quality. And that's everything uh, here. And then I'm, I show you my cabinet. It's called Helen Cups Impulse Response. It's of course for free. I will send you this in the description. I'm using SM57, which is a Shure, of course, and V30 speaker. Balance is on balance is on 84%. Then my second uh, cabinet, only 60% of the sound from this cabinet is again SM57 with V30 speaker, but in a different configuration. And of course, <laughs> and of course, guys, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and that's everything guys uh, this eq i'm not using this eq so let's delete here and that's it a second track is of course a copy of my first track of my left guitar and let's check my uh, rhythm guitar bass here i'm using equali equalizer a low cut is on 107 hertz then i'm reducing really annoying frequencies around 1k so this time is 1 and 36 kilohertz and second is almost 4k kilohertz then high cut on 10k L guys like uh, as i said i want to my guitar i want to really push my uh, mid range on my guitar to sit really well in mix so that's a before and after just wait i have to t turn off my master chain And that's my way how to mix electric guitars, guys. You can, of course, download everything. Everything is for free. You can copy my sound if you want. And that was it. Then second instrument is bass, which I was recorded in MIDI to show you. You can achieve a really nice metal sound by using a freaking jazz bass. Look at this, guys. This is really crap bass. You will achieve a better, of course, better sound by using real bass, but that's a really, really, really cheap addition. So it's, it looks like this on low and high. 
Okay, my bass is splitted on low and high. High looks like this, same bass and same MIDI notes, uh, but I'm I'm doing a low cut here and I'm uh, using a distortion to overdrive only higher frequencies and let my bass sounds really clean on low end. You, re you really can't, if you have a bass simulation doing it for you, splitting your channel to leave a clear low end and uh, distort higher frequencies, it's okay. But if you have free plugins, you need to do it by yourself on your own so it looks like this on my best high i'm doing a low cut and using a distortion settings are like this with shark cabinet which is built in that's that's a really cool option and this uh, pitch is for my tuning because uh, this bass was in e standard so i have to drop it to drop c so this is only why i'm using re, re pitch this time and this is a bass bass low as you can see, high end is, is deleted, okay? You don't have any high end on this track and a little bit of low end to, to make your kick presence more in the mix. That's a clear low end and I will show you how it sound before and after. Okay, bass high without plugins. As you can see, clean bass tone without a low end. And now let's use equalizer and overdrive. And second track, bass low without plugins. Oh wait, I now before before equalizer. <laughs> and with equalizer only low end and how it sounds together that was maximum guys mixing this bass was really hard job so i've really reached a maximum from the sound i think it's crappy jazz bass using for jazz or blues it took me a time okay transform it to a metal bass on my bass bass is a it's professor mark mark 2 professor mark 2 and that's my bass master plugin i've cranked a little bit of dirt and of course more low bass that subtle difference really the kurwa tak delikatnie to zrobiłem high bass was reduced because that was uh, too much too much this high end still Fullness, which is a a whole mix of your bass, and it's make it more tight. High end booster. This fader makes makes your bass tighter only in high register, so I reduced it. And presence, cause this presence, it's really cool, cause boost my low end a little bit, and that's that's really cool. And whole mix was better of this bass, so I've decided to boost it a little bit. And treble is on zero. I low filter cut sets like this and output my bass was reduced and still that was too much high end and also reduced two annoying frequencies 2.58k and 1.1k and it looks like this before and after so i really recommend you a bass professor mark mark ronaldo amazing plugin guys for free this is Shout out to Sonic Anomaly, amazing, amazing plugin developer, guys. Insane. <laughs> like crazy. Okay, and let's start with a clean guitars. What I've done here. Emissary with settings like this. This time on clean channel. Bass is on 12. I boost mids and treble because I need this punch from strings and, and put my guitar on a mid range, aggressive mid range. Same situation with cabinets because I really like my my sound and I really like my settings this time on Nade ER. So this is uh, 4C and 7B, same same situation like before. And fetish to make, this is a compressor with really fast attack. That was too much dynamic. So I decided to reduce it and it sits better in the mix than Tal Horus. Oh my god, Tal Horus is a Roland style Horus, which was built in Judo, 
Juno, Juno synthesizers. It's pretty cool, guys. It's really pretty cool. And that's my settings. I'm using Chorus 2 because on my ear sounds better this time, but one option, one and first and second option sounds also amazing. So in this in this mix, that was my choice. Uh, and Epic Verb. With settings like this, you can clone it. Dry is on all. I think it's 20%. Okay. Uh, time is on 2 seconds. 2 seconds. With reverb option, plate reverb to make this metallic sound and again boost my high end and mid, mid range. And it looks like this. So that's everything on my clean track. Then on clean bus is only equalizer. Low cut on 130 with additional attenuation on around 122 Hz then reducing two annoying frequencies classic guys you need to clean your clean your tracks so this is one first annoying frequency is a 77 Hz and second is a 1024 kilohertz then high cut on 7 on 7.7k which is really really tight high cut but i really need it so mm, before and after guys, before and after, for you, before and after. Amazing, oh my god, mind blowing. Next, what we have here, it's a drum with a kick. Let's start with a kick, reducing an one annoying frequency and boosting a high frequency using a high shelf type of equalization. And that's all guys. That's all because this kick sounds really cool from Source. Amazing plugin, another amazing plugin. Killer. This is killer. It's a transient shaper, free transient shaper, like every plugin in this, in this mix. From Analog Obsession. You can check his site on Patreon, he uploading every plugin for free. So guys, you can download every plugin from him. Because every is amazing, really. It's more present now. It's more present. And that's really, that's really it, guys. And of course, this drum set is free. Oh my Jesus. Second track is a snare. With T-Rex option. I'm boosting attack here to make it like like a kick to b make it more present to boost my transient and re and reduce volume and that's it guys that's it and epic verb to make more space after hitting on the snare two plugins amazing changes another plugin tom one I I need to find a Okay, so Tom one with T-Rex to boot again same situation, but I'm using also a sustain knob, which is making my tom sounds longer. Tail is longer. Attack same situation to make it more present, sit more in the mix, and epic verb to make more space. Same situation as a snare guys, and that's a before and after. Oh my god, crazy! Crazy plugins. Crazy plugins for free plugins. Okay, Tom sec. Oh, I, I've got this. Second Tom. My FX chain looks like this. I've reduced this basket type sound on 600. And uh, high shelf type equalization to make my Tom more clicky. t rex with same option as a Tom 1. More attack, more sustain. And epic verb, more space. Same situation, guys. Mixing is really simple. Before and after. You see, you see this again? Again, guys. Again, before and after. Overhead bus, which is a, you know, symbols. Uh, only one plugin. Equalizer. Reducing four annoying frequencies, 4K, 635, 10,000, 15,000, before and after.
Now I will show you what's going on on drum bus. It's only one plugin. It's another plugin from Analog Obsession, and it's a pull tech type EQ for free, guys. Fucking free. This plugin is amazing. And what I'm doing here? Firstly, I'm boosting a 30 hertz to pump a that that lowest frequencies to make it more warmer and and more respectful and boosting 10k to make my drums more presence and attack from snare attack from kick attack from tom one from tom two make my drums better and that's before and after really nice audio trick i'm doing a copy of drum bass and this is drum parallel compression and now I have two same signals. This is my original drum, drum bass and that's a parallel. I'm killing a dynamics on this track. So it's like like a my fist. <laughs> it's it have no transient, it's just like dynamics is like this, real flat. And I'm I'm trying to mix it to my original, you no. Know? my original dry, drum bus and it fills a gaps which this drum bus have and make it, it and make it more full fullness is fullness of my drums is amazing after a parallel compression and now i will show you how to achieve this amazing drum sound with free plugins so first plugins real life from analog obsession oh my god analog obsession it brings a life it makes your track better with more quality more presence more low end it's something like exciter but uh, it attenuating your mid so you have to be careful crank it it on max almost and shape which is only a mid cutter more shape less mid and mix 100 percent second plugin is a preamp if you crank your gain on almost five seven it will give you a distortion i really need this distortion on my uh, copy on my drum bus parallel compression copy channel track and i'm cutting a cutting a high end that much of distortion i don't really need that much of high end so i've reduced it most important plugin here fetish set almost on max it's destroying my ground track channel and let's hear it before and after this dynamic before after again guys before and after and last thing that i want to show you is master chain three plugins here one is my most important plugin and it this is a ua shock extreme exciter that will blow your mix 300 levels up i will show you before and after only with this plugin guys now killer killer plugin it's really hard to find and and no one knows about this plugin i found it on forum it's a really rare plugin and i want to share second plugin is a eq uh my mix was too muddy still and of course you shock is boosting my low end so i've tried to recompensate it with a low shelf type equalization and reducing 750 hertz 3k and almost 12k free and nine frequencies and last plugin is a frontier which is it's a limiter and this plugin makes my mix sounds more tight of course i'm reducing a little bit of dynamics but it's like you know every instrument feel connected with yourself so that's what limiter is doing and guys and now let's hear before and after on my master chain And that was everything. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that course was really useful to you. And see you in the next videos, guys. Peace.